Boom, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so welcome to season Season two. one, episode two. No, this is season two, episode one. Season two, episode around. one. <laughs> All right, welcome, guys. Uh, it's been a while since we did this. It's been a long while, like, uh, almost uh, several months now. It's like the, the Hades Comet shows up more frequently than us. I think so. Stay tuned. We'll be back in 37 years. 37, <laughs> 237. I, I think the goal should be doing this every every year. It'd be like every a, year. An annual yeah, yeah, yeah. The annual uh, Residence Cove Festival. It's about the Carnival, game, man. That's what we're going to call yeah. it. Residence Cove Carnival. <laughs> yeah. It's about the long game, isn't it? It is about the long game. All right. What's your long game? I don't know. Retirement? Se- settle down. <laughs> settle down. <laughs> settle oh, down. Oh, man. All right. So... What have you been up to, man? It's been a while. Yep. Work, man. Putting in work. I know. It's been, it's been a funny year for me, though, because I feel like even though I wasn't doing this, I thought I'd be, you know, much better with things like studying and all that studying. jazz. And all of us. I had to study for step three. So oh, wow. Congrats. That, you know, I had to, like, sit down and hunker down and study for Congratulations it. Congratulations on that. That's, oh, that's a big step. It's, it I, is, I, I remember had, I, had, the I, worst I step. did mine as well yeah. somewhere around the same second time. Second year? Yeah. yeah. In the beginning of the second year. And it was such a headache. And yeah, yeah, yeah. something I didn't want Do to think Do it before about. you join residency. I think that's the goal. Just, just yeah, try to get it done. It's no fun at all. Yeah, it's not fun at all trying to mix with it. Because for a lot of people, I know that for myself particularly, there's so much struggle with you know being able to study while you're in this yeah i know some people say you've never had that work study balance before it's either been just long prolonged periods of intense studying or working yeah but now it's put the two together oh man it's uh it's it's tough i i'm I'm not sure everybody would you know say the same some people probably have other mindsets and stuff but i just feel like you know, in residency, being able to do all the things that you do and go home, you just want to shut your brain off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's really what yeah. I wanted to do. Around, around 3.55. <laughs> your brain start, just wants to go start, to start turning off systems. Honestly, it's like, you know, t- and to be able to get the discipline to do what you need yeah, to do. That's it's, the key, man. You need discipline. I've never been oh, good with discipline, oh, let me tell man. you. Especially self-discipline. Oh, God. <laughs> it's, not, it's not working out. I need to work on that. Yeah, I guess we all need some... Uh, I don't know. It's, it's just because I, I I always tell myself, oh, because, you know, you get a lot of distractions and stuff. That's probably why you're not studying. But even in the times when I feel like I have yeah. the time to study, it just never happens. Yeah. What I, just, what I notice what's weird is the days that you actually like work a little harder, you yeah. end up studying a little bit. But the days where I didn't really do much. That's the worst. I, was, I just went back home and I was like, yep, just going to keep this going. This whole <laughs> not doing anything trend. I, I, I get it. I get it. I think I can relate to that in a way. Uh-huh. When your body is in, it's like a, it's like a fine balance in a way. Yeah. You don't want to get overworked because you can't do anything afterwards. Yeah. But when your body is primed a little yeah, bit yeah, yeah. to say, you know the what? The grass is still activated. Just a, just a yeah. little bit. You feel like, you know what? I think I can get stuff done today. Yeah. Um, and in other cases, uh, I used to, I used to think that I'd study in like, you know, clinic periods and yeah, it just never works out, bro. I don't know how much of that stuff you actually retain, though. The in-between work studying, man. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I guess we'll find out when these results drop. <laughs> well, you'll be all right. You'll be all right. <laughs> but, but again, it's it's like you, you know the importance of that. You know, the way that I see it, I feel like a doctor is just as good as how much they know. Yeah, yeah And the for knowledge sure. of it, right? For and, sure. You know, being able to apply it is another thing, but mostly if you know something, you can apply it. I propose a restructuring of the whole testing system. What do you think? All right. And this is the video to do it because I know it's, it's going to go out there and millions of people are going to see this. <laughs> the one person hopefully, that's going to see this. Yeah, but... But the one person that's going to see this, what would you think? Uh, hopefully it's a senator or someone. I don't know who controls these let's, things. Let's see. Give, so, put it out there. Being a good doctor today isn't... It used to be about how much you know. Okay. Now it's more about how quickly you know where to go to find that information. To some extent. Okay. Like, diagnostically, I get it. All right. Like, that will come with experience and reading. Okay. But when you see something you don't see in the office every day, mm-hmm. no matter how good a doctor mm-hmm. you are, you won't have the most up-to-date, like, 
cutting edge information about it. So That's you need true. to know where to look and how to use that information really quickly. So I propose all exams should have an up to date tab. <laughs> This video wow. is sponsored by UpToDate, by the way. They're paying us, <laughs> paying us a lot of money. <laughs> it, it, it sounds fancy, but I think some exams actually do, if I'm not. Yeah, yeah. PhD I, I exams. Uh, the, in fact, a lot of law exams too. They're no, all I, open I, book. I think, I think some of the, some of the, is it specialty exams or even ABIMs and stuff? Yeah. Some of them have those links, you know. Really? Yeah. And that's how I, it should I've be. I've heard it vaguely somewhere that they actually have those links and, you know, the problem becomes finding the information quick enough. That's true. That's true. <laughs> that's a, there's I mean? a bit of a time crunch. But but the other concern is doesn't that doesn't that you know threaten the importance of a physician in the I don't think so, man. To some extent, if it is, if that's all it takes to threaten the existence of a physician, we're better mm-hmm. off not existing, right? Well, like if well, computers take over, no. But yeah. the human aspect of it, you can't ever replace. Never, right? So, yeah. but then when it comes to standardized testing and stuff, yeah. I think it's better to have access to the information because who honestly remembers? You open up MD Calc, you're yeah. gonna look at a score. You don't have to memorize scores anymore. Yeah, I think that's and, and, and like, it's the way like written exams went the way of the MCQ. Like everything used to be written before. Yeah. People were like, "Yep, here's 25 marks. Give me a five-page five, essay on yeah. shock." Well, nobody wants to hear your story. Exactly. <laughs> so now, now it's shifted up to MCQs, and who knows where it'll go from there. Yeah, but. It's it's a lot of things. I well, obviously, you know, medical education needs constant, you know, rethinking about yeah, optimizing and getting more efficient. Yeah. Like now that they're starting to talk about what's this um, uh, pass or fail with the USMLE. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know what I f- really truly feel about that. Mm. But if by default I'd say, you know, what happens to us coming from outside the country yeah. how do we really prove Stand ourselves out. you know that if that goes away that's like forget it then yeah but the but the deficit of physicians in this country is still going to be there All right. so i don't know if you take scores out of the equation mm. maybe there'll be a little more um importance given to interviews or looking at you in a more holistic way than apart from and it kind of would take the focus away from the tests but it'd be hard to differentiate like where people yeah. stand without the curb, right? Yeah, because how do you know in in a, in a one hour interview? How do yeah. you know really? Yeah. You know? So again, it goes back down to obviously the knowledge is is super important. You're not going to do anything without yeah. having the baseline knowledge. But on top of that, how do you truly assess? Assess who functions better as a physician and yeah, who that's, doesn't. That's like very hard to assess. We, like even today's systems are probably not perfect, right? Oh, yeah. What we have in place. Oh, yeah. I don't know if there's ever going to be a perfect system. But I, I, I don't, I don't support the idea of taking the the the, the scoring system. Pass fail. And I just, yeah, I just, agree with you. It just it doesn't, doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense because you know, yeah, some people do better than others, but. Again, you have to figure that out at the end of the day, right? What what's gonna be your selection criteria? Yeah, how are you gonna know? And yeah, that you can't just have visa status as a selection criteria <laughs> after that. Like so that's I not gonna make some anything. The, some of the um, American more more American institutions mm. are of the idea that you just go based on the name of the school and that makes no sense whatsoever either. That's even yeah. even less standardized than Absolutely. what they're trying to do. So, yeah, I, I guess again, it goes back down. How do how do you know? How are you able to assess at least from the f- few time you can spend with the person? Yeah, you know, how do you really tell yeah. who's a be- better fit or not? You ha- it always has to start with the knowledge, right? That's why exams are there in the first place. I they guess. should do away with step three, though. What's the point of having another exam in the middle of it's the year just- when you're working? <laughs> that's sixteen hours. <laughs> Two days, two day exam. Why? I don't. Again, this. Okay, I, I remember taking. I remember doing a, a program in um, health professions education that, uh-huh. that really focused on assessment and accreditation for health uh-huh. education institutions. And uh-huh. one of the things that we we used to talk about then was. Um, the science of actually testing. Yeah. And again, there's several levels that you're actually testing. And again, I, I think that's that's what is represented to to a 
large extent in the differences between step one, step mm-hmm. two, CK. Um, so it gives uh, you an opportunity to show improvement, you're saying, like that? I, I think it tests slightly. Maybe step two, CK, and step three is not. Again, if you look at step two CK, you look at um, step three, and even you look at the um, the ABI and boards for yeah. us internal medicine. Yeah, there's a good overlap. Yeah. There's like a yeah. very solid overlap. Yeah, for sure. Know, around all of those exams, yeah. and you're really asking what extra thing are they testing about from the way the struct uh, the questions are structured. Yeah, and some of the important points they're really trying to emphasize. There is a difference. Yeah, if if you go maybe deeper than like the, in the in the thought process that you have to kind of go through to figure out the questions. Uh, absolutely, absolutely. Like, There's a slow transition mm. from basic science to clinical decision making for yeah. sure. The, 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 the contrast is there. For example, between basic sciences and clinical sciences, when you, yeah. for when step one compared to uh step two, step two ck yeah. but with step two ck step three and you know for example i'm uh in terms yeah. board of exams there's a there's a good there's a good overlap obviously yeah. the degree of specificity as to what they expect you to do yes yeah. changes as you go on yeah but Again, it's, it's very similar knowledge points. The yeah. reason why I'd say that is, if, for example, because I, I edited some of the uh, text materials before uh-huh. for several companies and for some of the things I did uh-huh. myself, the main reference for any clinical resource that uh-huh. you're using uh-huh. is up-to-date. Yeah. Whether you're yeah. editing, you know, step three content or That's you're it. editing Gold step, standard two, right there. step two content. <laughs> Or you're editing, like, you know, internal medicine yeah. board content is, is again, a universal fact checker. Up to date. Once again, I mean? n- not sponsored by Up to Date, are we? It's not sponsored by Up to Date, Yeah, I know. But it's, it's good, it's, though. It's, 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 it's amazing. It, one of the challenges I used to have with Up to Date in the beginning was how to find information. Yeah, but it gets, it gets. You figure it out along the way out, which so parts to focus on and which yeah, parts to kind yeah, of uh, yeah. read so up later. The, the, for me, my. my because I've seen attendance, for mm-hmm. example, right? We have an attendant that we both know worked with probably in the 70s or uh-huh. in the early 80s. Uh-huh. And, you know, the way they talk about the knowledge, yeah. oh, the way yeah. they talk about the updates, it's just like mind-blowing. Yeah. And all it tells you is that these guys are still studying something every day. Yeah. So other than... Th- it's not really about studying for exams. That's part of it, but yeah. How do you? I think stay- if you look at it from a studying from exams point of view, you're mm. not gonna gain as much as if you do it like you have to do it. Right. Like you need to do it for a like your growth as a physician for yourself. Otherwise, like what are you gonna do? Right. And and it's it's so it's so fascinating because one of the things that makes for me one of the things that makes work a bit more difficult mm. is not knowing what to do yeah in certain cases that's where the headache is if you have a straight diagnosis you have a straight treatment plan listen it's go through the motions easy, and you easy it's yeah. like you just smooth through it yeah. but if you have a complicated case and you're trying to figure out yeah what the best decisions it becomes yeah. purely about yeah your you know very established knowledge yeah. and that's the stuff you tend to remember way better yeah the stuff you're actually like actively trying to figure out when e- exactly but again dealing the, re- with a the problem. reason why i'm mentioning that is some of these guys are so so equipped yeah in their knowledge bank that it's easy to navigate all that thought yeah. process for yeah. them it's like boom 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 this yeah. is happening this is what i'm gonna do this is happening this is what i'm gonna do yeah. but also and he's got 50 years of experience that, behind him that is that is for sure yeah but i don't think the experience alone without the constant yeah. search for the knowledge true will really because you all, you have other people that have similar experience yeah right but you, you really can't compare <laughs> yeah. unfortunately right it's the truth so I, I feel like the experience alone without the the constant pursuit of it's the a wasted knowledge. experience it's, it's wasted because i yeah. can do something over and over and over again yeah. i can do the wrong thing over and over and over again if i've done it for 20 years i've done the wrong thing over oh. and over and over again you get my point right yeah. so it's like trying to find that motivation to say you know what this is my profession yeah whether i have an exam or not yeah how do i stay motivated to continue yeah. to study every day to look look up stuff yeah be invested in 
no mean stuff yeah there's only so much like didactics from your program can really spoon feed something it has to i i overgrew that yeah, right? yeah in the first in my first year residency were you that guy sitting in the front row taking notes all well, the time well i i i thought i i had the impression that you know what the didactic was a big part of your yeah. of your learning yeah. and i went through that and i took all the bullshit notes yeah. that i yeah. needed to take yeah. i never went back to study yeah of course of not once <laughs> the monthly test is done that's boom. it out. right and it just makes you feel like yeah you hear some things i never remember anything by yeah. the way I, yeah, I, yeah. I i i hear something today no come 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 all right I never remember anything really. It's uh-huh. like you hear something fancy. Oh yeah, oh that's that's yeah. Oh, good stuff. That. Good stuff. And <laughs> two days after ask me, I don't remember nothing. Yeah. You, you feel like that's just if for example, you have a structure. Yeah. With studying at home. Yeah. Daily, yeah. figuring out however you want to do it daily that is consistent. And you come to the didactic and you know the regular classes, there is there is some form of continuity yeah. this some form of retention self discipline man where right? you at so so, <laughs> so again you can have all of the teaching which is important yeah. it is yeah. but without that personal system where you're constantly looking yeah. up stuff constantly reviewing it just doesn't work man. it doesn't stick it doesn't stick nothing sticks man and imagine how stressed you already are with a job and you know you're just going home you just yeah. your brain has so much just so much sitting on it <laughs> right, for stuff so it's like figure out a way yeah. at least that's what i tell myself and that's what i've been telling myself well, that's the, the first step years, man bro. right it's like, move past denial uh, figure out a way acceptance is key to achieve some degree of consistency yeah but lord that is been my, the key to maintaining my, that consistency is frequent rewarding i feel but how do you be it like if i think at some point once you keep doing that it'll come to a point where you notice that in your daily practice as a physician yeah. you can actively make a lot more changes question yeah. a lot more authority figures yeah and i think like getting feedback from that is also going to be beneficial to some extent like if you just learn it and you don't actually use it, you, it it's pointless like what that, what's that, the point of learning that is all true. Of that? How, how do you get the feedback so because i i personally don't believe even though it feels nice to no, not from people it has to be like just say positive feedback in patient outcomes stuff like okay. that all right you know so applying what you know basically applying what right you know. yeah because because okay this is a contrast again you you study a lot and you know you know all of these fancy things and yeah. you want to apply it but just the logistics around wherever it is yeah. you're practicing medicine yeah does not afford you that opportunity yeah. unfortunately yeah if then it feels like what is the point what, what was the <laughs> point right so again that that because you know you you work with students you work yeah. with interns in cases where they're super on top of their yeah. game when it comes to the knowledge part yeah. and they say you know what why don't we do this you know what why don't yeah. we do this? Just, just you know they just do the you know it, 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 it probably doesn't happen here in the ideal world in the yes. ideal world yes but here <laughs> maybe not right and I th- I'm I'm sure the same applies to many other of institutions course. there's right? always limitations be it right. monetary be it, there's so many limitations so many things, man, right so can... again it's like how do you get that how do you get that consistent you know feedback however you're getting it to make you feel like okay you know what i need to go again and reload yeah. i need to go again and reload yeah. i need to go again and reload and to do it consistently i guess that's that's you need to be scared shitless all the time But come on, no, nobody wants. Neither of us life, can do man. that. Nobody wants to live that life, man. There's already enough stress. You know. Uh, I think I, what I need is I need someone looking over my shoulder, being like, "Study, study, study," and that someone's not gonna be me, man. I need I, that. I, I, I need promise, that external I, I pressure. I promise you, it's not. So we've we've tried. You know, some of us have tried doing study groups. Yeah. And listen, the first month that, is within like, a week oh. that just becomes no, no. a drinking group. <laughs> That's what happens. Month, the first month, there's so much intensity that you just keep going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, let's do this, man. Yeah, yeah. we're gonna kill whatever, yeah. whatever exam is coming. And after that month, everything. Once one person starts to call out, I say, you know what? I won't even slowly, make it. the whole everything system collapses. collapses. And again, so, so my 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 question to myself is, how do you find? Because there's some of the things that we do consistently in yeah. our lives, right? Yeah, you know, everybody has those things. Yeah, how do you get? your knowledge acquisition when it comes to medicine 
to that point where it just becomes a fixture and he's just that's gotta, golden that's I, habit I, forming man you gotta form a habit man i wish i had the, the, the we need the, to figure out how to make studying a habit right yeah and not not for exam just to because just I, I, generally I, i've known i've known i've been on rotations where because i know my my stuff say right it, right <laughs> right because i know my my whatever it is that i'm yeah. going to do on that yeah on that rotation i i feel confident i i it's just come in in the morning swagger just, in your walk yeah just there's some, I got this. something different to it yeah. right and in those cases where you don't know what you're doing it's like oh lord and you know yeah. how, how do i even approach the next but i think there's some benefit to those rotations too like see some of the specialities yeah. which you haven't been exposed to yeah. you go in you're like oh lord what's going on what's over going, here yeah and that's kind of scares you into going back and being like yeah, yeah so i i guess it's, you need it's, a bit of both i guess uh, yeah 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 it's not a healthy it's, way to go through life though being scared all the time is it i don't i don't want to do that yeah. i want i want because a, a lot of times my retention ability to retain information when you when i study is how chill that environment or wh- yeah. how chill the reason i'm studying is yeah. i mean the reason i'm studying it makes it for, more enjoyable right too. so if, if it's just something you just gather knowledge and you're just excited about oh yeah i know this i know this i yeah. know this i'm not really trying to stun in any exam yeah. it's like yeah but that would good. help too that helps too right <laughs> yeah. if, if it helps to you know really, really yeah that kick ass positive and feedback <laughs> right it does right but again it's like the exams are not always going to be there. No. So for example, when Actually, you become an attendant, I don't know, they might always be there. They exa- got to keep doing the boards in, every now and in, then. Internal medicine boards is like I think every 10 years or something like yeah, that, right? Yeah. I guess. So it's not always going to be should there. We should have done our research about how often we got to <laughs> right, get the yeah, boards. Yeah, so it's, it's it's 10 years. I remember <laughs> that one. Yeah. Right? So if within those 10 years if you don't have the exams it's only a month before the exam in right. your 50s so, you're like oh shit yeah so it's like here we go again yeah so it's like how do how do you keep that you know so fire going the best way is to not study for like the whole of nine years and then just yeah. pack everything in the last couple of months it's been working so far man Listen, so been, it must be the only way to do man- it we've been managing <laughs> to make it work right because I, I i feel like the, the without studying there's no way you'd be, even be no. here in the first place right no. you must have bust, busted your ass yeah. and, you know wherever it is you we're coming from right yeah. but is it's the next step now because the thing is there's not much consequences or right? that's, that's true partly why people can wing it man i've seen the, people winging right. it so that's yeah. scary you, you tend to learn yeah. the job you learn the basics on the yeah. job yeah <laughs> you'll survive right everybody in residency knows the yeah. basic thing to do for almost but you every, gotta get good yeah every yeah. diagnosis you tend to know okay this is happening i'm going to do blah 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 blah, yeah. blah, blah, blah. everybody you, you don't necessarily need to go all out of your way to study to do that. I think that's why it's so important to start involving yourself in research at a pretty early phase, man. Hmm. Cuz once you get involved in research, start doing literature reviews, yeah. Just exposed to so much other stuff yeah. that's happening and you're like, "Oh, there's so many other facets to this disease yeah. or to this problem that I've been studying that I wasn't even aware of." Hmm. So I think that to some extent could be Oh, inspiring I I, I, I definitely extent. agree with that. Some of the things I I remember the most today are things that I probably wrote papers on. Yeah. Yeah. Cuz you just never forget. Yeah. Cuz after going through all that 30 papers yeah. to try to yeah. come up uh, with a page at least did. I know something about this. Right, right. So it's 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 it definitely helps. And again, I think that's the that's one of the important things about specialization yeah. where you focus on you know particular group of things and you just you know yeah. knock it down and stuff is because well again it applies to everything and it's it's just finding that balance man just finding you gotta, you gotta that. diversify all your sources of education mm. to it can't just yeah. be like at least for me personally if it's gonna be sitting and reading a book all day within 15 minutes looking out of the window yeah. next thing you know it's been two hours yeah. sunset still looking out of the window mm. but like there's apps now yeah. there's you know you get a study group like mm. mix it up get mm. some uh kahoot going you know 
Yeah, if, yeah, do you fun stuff. Kind you know, of we, link. We probably, we, we probably should do some some fun about studying in this we show. Should. Let's do a we trivia. Should. We have a third mic now. Nice. We can, we can have a, a third guest. Whoever comes Quizic, in yeah. through the door next. Exactly. Gets yeah, sat they sit down. down. You ask them something. They, they, they. We need to give them something if they win, though. Like I don't know. A day co- off. A cup of coffee. Oh, we don't have that kind of power. Coffee. Yeah, cup I of guess. coffee. Sure. Yeah, yeah. The machine right there. Yeah. It's free. Yeah. Oh yeah. We'll, nice. just, we'll pour them a cup we'll of coffee. Cup of yeah, coffee. that should that should work. <laughs> but again, like you said, you you, you will try. You, you need to find a way to just absorb knowledge. You can't yeah. can't just be like sitting and rote learning anymore. Yeah. And and again, it's not about the book knowledge as well yeah. by itself. It yeah. needs to be put into context and as to you the need complexity to of, get of the whatever problems. is going to be useful for you because yeah, it's like. Mm, all of medicine is too vast yeah. for everyone to know be like knowing everything about everything yeah that just brings me back to the point about you need to know where to look for stuff when the yep. time comes because hmm. there will be times you're alone somewhere rural hospital hmm. you know if you're hmm. doing a waiver job or something yeah. see a case that you've never seen before hmm. don't know what to do you have some inkling yeah. some sort of uh, a gut feeling about what you think it mm. might be you need mm. to know where to look how mm. to corroborate that evidence with what you already know mm. so that's what we need to work on well i agree i agree one thing that has helped me in the past though was teaching yeah so I, oh uh, yeah. that's the best way to learn that, that has helped me tremendously because yeah. i remember when in medical school even before i wrote the exams and stuff i i remember actually teaching some of these materials and that was the motivation to go and learn the material yeah. you didn't want to sound like a fool yeah. <laughs> when you're teaching right so so the, for me i think I'm, I'm i'm probably gonna have to get get back into it into that again but seriously we should do a trivia let's get somebody here and uh let's you know catch him see, yeah see what's yeah up. see what's up see how much they know Right, and we study in advance. We won't tell them what we study in advance. Oh, yeah, like so we come off looking smarter. <laughs> you get it, bro. Dude, yeah, that's we'll nice. see you guys next. That was a nice chat. Nice, nice man. Nice, see nice you guys time. in a year. Yeah, yeah. Maybe, hopefully maybe. not. Ho- hopefully not. Next week. Hopefully next not. week, maybe? maybe. I think so. What are you on next week? Um, what am I on? Uh, palliative. Palliative. All right. Yeah. I'm still doing floors. We yeah. can find. We'll, we'll, we can find we'll, some time. We'll figure it out. I'm sure the audience is like hungry for more. All, all no, five million. <laughs> <laughs> all right it was a nice chat right. all right um, always man always yeah, we'll see you guys next time take it easy breathe easy gently walks out of food yeah yeah all right guys